Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select also in terms of dropping new bag and new exclusive video, you'll definitely be notified. I'm right here with two special guests, but you know, I don't want to, I would love her to introduce herself. She, you guys already know her, she's the queen mother, you know, and um, she's the one of the best most genuine human you will ever know and um i bless I, I say i bless the day she was born <laughs> how you doing ma i'm all right thank you and happy birthday raymond and happy new year <laughs> yeah same same to you man thanks for the well wishes i, I really appreciate it more than 1000 nigerians have sent me well wishes uh you know uh Send me where which is uh, from last night to this morning, and uh, it just to yeah. to the to this morning, and it just ma it makes it so exciting because I've never been you know sent such message before, encouraging messages from different parts of the world. You know, uh, it's just it's just amazing. So, what do you what do you think of this new year? Like, what's your wish uh, and hope for this new year? Uh, would you like to get like? give some hope to people because last year was very 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 you know crazy a lot of people lost their lives you know and the pandemic and all that what do you hope for this new year well i i i woke up hungover <laughs> and um and, and and i woke up just as the dawn was breaking so i went outside and I did some exercise and breathed in the fresh air, clear my head and I came back in and I said my prayers and um, I baked it, I baked some bread, fresh bread for the new year and I gave thanks and all I can say is 2020 was yesterday. <laughs> And today we're in the new year and of course um, every year people feel excited, new energy because it's the first day of the year. So you feel full of energy and you want to make plans. And of course because we're in this pandemic it's very difficult to make plans. So I, I feel all you can do is just take one day at a time and and appreciate the little things you do have and the most simple things can make you happy like for instance making my bread going out for fresh air and i think it's important to keep your exercise going um, because if you don't use your body you lose it if you don't use those muscles you lose it they become dormant they become stagnant and it's important to keep the blood circulating your around your body so even if you go for a walk or or do in do little bursts of um, exercise because it helps you with your mind so my message is you know if if you've got any faith hold on to your faith because that will help you come through and also to um you know connect by calling somebody making them feel good especially ones you know who are vulnerable who are old people who are on their own e even if you go to if you go and you walk down the road and you say hello to somebody going by you know that might cheer up that person you never know that person might be on their own i know when i go to the bus stop there's always an old person at the bus stop and I always make the point of saying hello and, and making them feel, you know, you, you know, that they are still a part of this world because they might not have spoken to anyone all day long. So it's, it's the little things which is important right now. And just 
you know, we don't know what's coming. We don't know how long it's going to be before we can go back to being on the hamster wheel. It's quite nice just to get off the hamster wheel and and to and to be still for a while. But of course, you know, um, life goes on. Children have to be educated. People have to work. And, and of course, it's difficult. So we just have to make the best we can, really. Well, 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 well stated, man. I really, really appreciate it. And that was that's a good message because, I mean, I know people that lost a lot of people, you know, in this pandemic we have right now. And uh, it's just crazy. Let me... Uh, hey, hey yeah. on point about people losing people, that's the other thing. I mean... You have to give thanks every day. And also, I always, at the end of the day, you know, ask God to help those souls who have passed on so they can rejoin God, you know, in the greater plan of things, you know, because, and pray for the people who have lost their loved ones, you know. So I think if everybody could try and, you know, uh, pray every day or even give thanks for what they have and also to you know to, rem to 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 even think about those i mean all you hear on the news is how many people have died like it's just numbers you know it, 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 it so in the end it becomes like oh they're just talking about more numbers but those are human beings who have lost their lives and 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 you know we have to ask god to give them a safe journey home yeah, that is true. Um, do you believe in the afterlife? I believe that wherever we came from, we're going to go back to. That's what I believe. And, you know, I believe I come from God and I will reunite with God. Okay, that is definitely reasonable and I think it's definitely good. I mean, I grew up in a Christian family. Uh, I don't know if I still believe in in that i believe in god for sure i don't know if i still believe in religion but i do believe that <clears throat> a creator there's a there, you know we didn't just fall from the sky you know we were made in an image of a super a super a super a superior being yeah. and which is god and uh, we have to always give time that's why when i was able to you know say i'm alive in 2021 yeah, I, I really, I, I really, I really had to give thanks to yeah. God and uh, my ancestors. Give thanks that you can breathe. Your heart's still beating. You can move your limbs. Give thanks. Yeah, you can put food in your in your stomach, and you got a roof on your head. Give thanks for every little thing. Having a shower. Give thanks so you've got water. You know, fresh water coming from the shower. Some people just take it for granted that you can turn on a tap and the water comes out. You know. Oh yeah, so Ma, we have someone special with us right now. Someone that really admires you. Ah, his name is Emerton Tom. I don't know if you've heard of him before, but you you you, you, you would know. Yeah, Emerton Tom. <laughs> what does Emerton Tom mean? <laughs> well, um, it's just abbreviation for my name. Um, Emmanuel Tom is my name, so I. Is well. Oh. Yeah, so I just abbreviated it as Emma Tom. Okay. Yes, that's, that's what Emmanuel Tom means. Emma Tom Tom means yes. So oh, Emma Tom, do you know who's with us right now? Yes, I know. I know the greatest woman in history, the African what? Queen. We are so happy to have you in the forum at this hour. By the way, happy new year to you and thank you for the joy that you have helped us to spread to the whole world by raising a superstar in our generation in the presence of the joys thank you my you're welcome to the house how are you doing thank you, thank you. i'm all right beautiful beautiful we're glad to have you in the house how was your how, how did you spend your your last night oh my god i celebrated in the with the rest of the old and we had a good old time singing celebrated um 
by um, we was all singing and dancing. Toron was singing and we was all dancing and just yeah having a good time. And then we went to bed. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh, that's beautiful. Being the last of the year, even though this year has been ups and downs for so many families, joys and sorrows. A lot of families right now um, are in tears. But yeah. we thank God finally 2020 has gone. We're looking forward for a better year. Today being 2021, it's going to be better than 2020. So you're welcome in the house. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Um, I apologize, first of all, to her for what happened the last time uh, where uh, uh, the Dubois insulted you. We fell back. Uh, it's just that you've never heard from me. We felt bad and we made a tape immediately after that confrontation. We made a tape and that tape came out after the Joyce Ford and the Dubois, the way we predicted it, the way we said it. You don't mess up with a woman and then think God would just let it slide like that. But I'm pretty sure uh, that the Dubois has learned his lesson so much. We apologize for it, but thank you for having still a heart as a mother to forgive you. Yes. Just... Yes. And I have forgiven. He recovers. And he can. I was saying that I, I, I forgive Daniel Dubois and also for him to have a speedy recovery so that he can continue with his career if he wants to. Thank you, Ma. You are a mother. You are a good woman with a beautiful heart. Thank you. And Daniel Lubois' career is picking up again. Because yeah. what yeah. he did was very wrong. And we as Africans, we as the parents of Daniel Dubois, we were not happy. We were not happy. We set it up. And what he wished to you happened to her. The world was a witness. So Daniel Dubois, you are being forgiven today. You heard from the queen. She forgives you. Rise up and take back your career. Thank you, ma. It is yeah. Because yeah. when my son steps into the ring, I always pray for both of them so they can come out okay. Because I know it's such a brutal sport and anything can happen. So I always pray beforehand that everyone would be okay you know so i believe he'll be okay thank you man he is <laughs> but that was a match that generation will not forget in a hurry you see joe joyce had been a young man that has done so much in the boxing field right from as an amateur to as a professional to from olympics <laughs> But he has been looked down. I don't know why. He has been looked down by a lot of boxers, by 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 by, by, by the wall. But it was a wake up call that Joe Joyce is a dangerous human being. <laughs> Any one thing he can overlook, Joe Joyce, be ready. You know what? I was listening to uh, Derek Derek Chisoro yesterday. You know what he said. Now, when he was, when they were interviewing him, they asked him uh, what, who he would like to face. And I was shocked. He mentioned to Joyce. And he had in my eyes, wow, you have to discover to Joyce. You said, when a boxer mentions another boxer, like I want to fight him, it means I have respect for that boxer. I see what he has done. Let me see if I could have shine and take that spot. I was laughing. I said, Director Jesuro, don't mess with your choice. Don't mess with your choice. So we are very happy for what your choice is bringing into the sports. Thank you, Ma, for being a wonderful mother to an idol. Thank you. Ma, um, I want to ask you, how do you feel? Amaton, Amaton just said, you know, that, uh, of course, Chisora called out uh, Joe Joyce. 
in Jojo's career right now, who do you want to see him fight? And how do you feel about a fight between uh, Chisora and uh, Jojo? Because I remember Jojo is wanting to fight Chisora when he was uh, when he had like four fights or something like that, I guess. Or, yes, it's because um, it's funny now he wants to fight him because before he didn't want to fight him because um, he said that my son would be um, um, high high risk low reward but now he's propelled himself to the wbo spot number two obviously he's got something more to come to the table because boxing after all is is all a business you know um derek dejora hasn't got any of the belts but he's not really interested in belts he's just interested in getting big paydays and fights which is understandable because, you know, um, that's what he's in it for. Everyone has a different reason for why they're in the sport. Some want to, you know, cement a legacy. Others just want to do it just to get paid. And others just want to improve themselves and see, see how far they can go. So everyone has their different stance. So, um, it's interesting he wants to fight my son now. But I remember when David David Hay and my son was at the O2 fight after Derek Dezora had a fight with, um, God, what was that boxer? I can't remember which boxer. But um, Derek Dezora, um said to David Hay, he would fight his boy for, I think it was one pound or something. And <laughs> as long as as long as David Hay gives him all his all his rights, but David Hay didn't want to do that, and so Derek was saying, "So you have no you have no confidence in your boy," and he says, "Yes, he does." But anyway, so he was calling my son a Chihuahua, but now <laughs> he's obviously not a Chihuahua anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you heard recently about have you heard recently about you know the coming back of I mean of uh, Jeremy Miller remember Jeremy Miller was supposed to fight Jer- one George Jer- wanted to fight Jeremy Miller as well at some point he turned it down and how do you feel about the situation that you know, he, he now has like they've been given a two year ban, you know, and uh, but it can be kind of um he can do eighteen months if he follows the rules and regulations of you know um <laughs> if he follows the rules. <laughs> yeah. Well how do you feel about it? See a character like that, do you believe he will follow the rules? He, he he obviously has been doing this for a long time throughout his career. And it may be he's too f- afraid to rely on his own strength. So I don't know if he will do it. And also, because this sport is so dangerous and so brutal, and every boxer what steps in the ring has a mother, has a father, has brothers and sisters. Really, you don't want a boxer to be taking such drugs, you know, because they could kill somebody. Because they're like killing machines as soon as they step in that ring. So I I, I don't understand why they're giving him more chances. He should be just be banned. You know. You mean banned for life? Because what are they waiting for? Are they waiting for a disaster to happen before they will ban him? He's been banned for two years now. Yeah, by the way, let me come in a little bit. Um, thank you, man. You've just said exactly what I wanted to say. Now, calling on Gerard Miller to fight your choice at this time is a distraction. That is, whoever did that is an enemy of progress. That's not what your choice wants right now. No, the reason no. I said that right now is your choice is on a court. What is the reward to choice fighting Gerard Miller right now to raise Ger- Ger- uh, Miller's uh block deal output why that is destruction joe joyce is upright day for god not even the rock the rock wants to to
to re-establish himself by calling on Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce will knock him out, but that's not what we want. That's not what we want. Oh. Oh. Joe Joyce is a star right now. His eyes are on the goal. We do not want more destruction. Joe Joyce did the right thing by calling on Yusuf. Yes. Who said yes. right now is Joe Joyce's target. Joe Joyce has taken a step forward and no one can take him or derail him. The Rav Chisoro calling Joe Joyce to fight now. Unfortunately, the Rav Chisoro, just like uh, the pretty queen has said, has not focus. I listened to him yesterday. He said he had four four fights lined up next year. More or less, he seemed to funny. <laughs> Unfortunately, he has fast becoming a gatekeeper. Not the mm -hmm. so that we know. Look at him playing with you said in the ring. Now all of a sudden he want to fight. Uh yeah. to Joyce? No. To Joyce, believe me, to Joyce will knock him out. But yeah. the issue is it's a distraction. What has he brought to the table? Joe yes. Joyce right now is not fighting any fighter that hasn't presented something to the table. Joe Joyce is a maker star trying to build his portfolio for, for a maker harvest event. Joe Joyce is looking for to fight the top five guys right there. Joe yes. Joyce belongs to the top five guys. Yes. Division. If you say yeah, if you say to Joyce uh one of fighting Tongo Kids, I say yes. Yes, who is King Kongo Kids? Otis, who is that? Yes, that's a bonus fight because I mentioned Otis because it's the fifth round number five by WBA. Yeah. Yes. If you say to Joyce one of fight Alexander Yusuf, I say go for it. That is mm -hmm. where he belongs. They cannot call someone chris hammer if nakodara miller who's been out for a very long time just no no that's not fair no and also as you mentioned earlier they've been holding my son back from the olympics he should have got gold they've been holding him back keeping him under the radar always belittling him he needs he, he needs to be recognized now how much does he need to prove he he, he had his first fight a 10 rounder fight for his debut for a very uh a brilliant boxer called ian lewison and ian lewison obviously lost so that was a major statement when he started but all i can keep seeing is obstacles they keep putting obstacles in his way trying to stop him to get to where he needs to be why why because he is a dangerous boxer so many managers are wishing they had signed to joyce from warren it is time for you to make your decision clear and distinct you promise and the dubois a belt to joyce came up successfully what are you saying you still the manager to your choice yeah this yeah. guy is on top the juggernaut is on a mission to yeah. re-establish needs to fight or yes the top five is the top five is what we want yeah your choice when your choice need parker parker yeah. need your choice your choice need 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 as alexander you say yeah. to joyce need dionte wilder dionte wilder jo joyce needs you don't the fight jo joyce needs yeah. jo joyce don't need the don't need hacker for jo joyce don't need uh, you don't need us believers. It doesn't need the right to Amateur, amateur, one minute, bro. Um, do you know JoJo's ultimate goal is to become a world champion? Yeah. And eventually, if Joshua, of course, if, if Joshua defeats uh, Tassif, which I, I hope he does. Okay, because I'm, I'm definitely rooting for Anthony Joshua all day. Now, how would a fight with uh, with JoJo's play out? Uh, Joshua and JoJo's. 
we are building a mega fight if you if you see the train i'm going i'm going for a mega fight because <laughs> these are two africans these are two power monsters when you see two monsters you don't collide them early you let them go different part just like when uh, is it a pochi that call out of coli i yeah. said that's wrong that's wrong don't put that fight now don't put your choice versus anthony joshua now let them go different part so that when they meet the ground would suffer when they <laughs> collide it would be like two ball dozers great <laughs> resume with ability to sustain and generate the meat enough for everybody to take and have a share you don't rush over that right now that's why the people are calling because i know i know your choice has their number you talk about deontay wilder go to deontay wilder's resume we always been saying this you know Sammy? do you think they will ever allow deontay wilder to fight your choice no they will play politics do you think they will allow king kong otis yes they may allow otis because otis is a high risk for them they could they want money for the guy they knew he's not going to do anything but adventure those are the kind of fight this, this, this. the guy good for this guy is you sick right now yes yeah. but <laughs> Usyk wants to fight Dante Wilder, I hear. Because Usyk don't want to have a share of the joys. <laughs> That's the fact. That's the bottom line. Usyk that don't want that. He remember what happened during the amateur. Yeah. He remembers it. He knows it. Yeah. He knows how that fight went. Yeah. He knows that if he gets in the ring now with your joys he's not going to be handed over to the judges to decide no Jojo is a monster with muscular whoever believes this young man has such a gene <laughs> he has Jojo is a patient guy he will he will take everything you have and still standing now when you <laughs> give all that you have what what else is left for you yes uh, you're right so he he rather go for dante wilder and get points because he as you say it wouldn't go to points with my son because this is why we just no. my son said to me he's not going to allow it to go to points he's not going to be ripped off like he was ripped off at the at the olympics He's not leaving it in the judges' hands. And rightly so. Because if it was left to the judges, one of the judges had Dubois eight rounds up. How was that possible? Is the, so, the so Jacobin, very Let me just come a little bit. The fight between the Jacobin and the Dubois, the Jacobin was only implementing fists of... of of the five proposals he had. Yeah. It was yeah. Also, <laughs> the judge did not even skip into the second no, phase of the right. steel. You're, you're right. He was yeah. just implementing the first laid out tactics by his coach. And that yeah. worked out. Yeah. Some say Jojo has so much embedded in him. But mm. don't you what Aaron knows? From one knows. Yeah, the deal yeah. they are looking for your choice right now, they are trying to pick him. You see, one thing I like Bob Aaron, people don't understand. Bob Aaron wants to hijack your choice to ESP. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Which is, I want that too. Let me come out openly because your choice is a money generating machine to ESP right now. Either one. That's when they will give him the good fights. Mm. Right now, they are hiding behind the shadows. Yes. All right. Thanks, Ma, um, for joining us. I really appreciate it.
what are what are your last what are your last words for the people who survived 2020 i said what are your last words what are your words uh, for people who survived 2020 what is your advice for them for 2021 just just to take heart to take just one day at a time and you have to as we are human you know allow yourself to cry to laugh to be angry whatever you need to do to to heal um and and then in time you'd be able to move on and and also i i feel because we're dealing with uncertainty, we're dealing with the unknown. Um, and I'm used to that already because every day I step out of my house, I never know what's gonna happen because I have to use all my senses to be alert, to know what's going on around me. So you just have to, you, you just have to feel, however you feel, just feel, feel it. Do not stop feeling and to reach out, even with this pandemic where people are masked up and they're in, you know, standing at a distance. Always try to reach out to somebody because somebody is always needed, even if you've been through a terrible experience yourself, because sometimes that helps you to heal because there's always somebody worse off than yourself. That's how I feel. When I'm feeling down or whatever, I always think about somebody else who's worse off than me to help me to feel better. And then also to just, you know, try and think about what is good. What is good in your life right now? Whether it's you've got a nice bed to sleep on or you've got food in the cupboard or whatever. You know, sometimes try and cheer yourself up by wearing something what makes you feel good or you know i something like that really but thanks you have, ma you have to come from yourself and give thanks to god and you know listen to music or go, listen to a book you know so that you can take your way take yourself away from the situation and think about something else that's very good thanks ma i uh, really appreciate it and thanks for coming i mean it's always a pleasure when you're here and uh uh emma tom tom yes yeah, so you want to wish our wish our, you our you african you queen yeah Opora, we are proud of you thank you for being a mother to our superstar no the founder of european heavyweight Taro, the British BBC, British heavyweight Taro, thank you for impacting to sport and thank you for your son to Joyce. We pray that 2021 is going to be the greatest year in your life, in his boxing career, and we are all out here to support. Thanks for standing in, in the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you. God bless you, man. God Bye. You, man. Thank you. Amen. We love you. Okay, thank you. So that was Marvel Parrot, the mother of Joe the Juggernaut Joyce. The future of the heavyweight division. The, the next, the new king on the block. And uh, we can't wait to see how, you know, his career progresses and who he fights next. Stay blessed, Jungle Stable, guys. God bless you all.